Hello, my dear student. Today is another topic that is Trachinella spiralis. Trichinella spiralis is another endoparasitic nematodes which are commonly found in the very important, medically important nematode parasites. And their systematic position is it belongs to Hylum Hylum nematoda class Inoplia order class Inoplia order Trichocephalida Trichocephalida family Trichy Nelidae Genus Trichinella Species Spidelis It is a viviparous nematode and for this endoparasitic nematode, it is slightly different from other nematode parasites because it is the most smallest nematode and very important, medically important nematode parasite. And these parasites are usually inhabited in the small intestine of Certain mammals, pea, bear, rodents, hyena, and human beings. So, this nematode inhibited in the small intestine of human being, pig, rodents, bear, etc. And men can get infected by eating undercook or not properly cook meat of the pig, meat of the bear, horses. Another one is the horses. By eating such type of the meat which contain this infective stage larva. These infective stage larva are present inside the muscle, is insisted inside the muscle. Only when men can get infected by eating such type of the infected meat which is usually present in these different mammalian domesticated mammals or wild mammals, for example, pig, bear, rodents, horses, and hyena. These are the main definitive hosts for this parasite. Or, or for this parasite, there is no intermediate host. Only these parasites are present, which is usually encapsulated in the striated muscles. Then, what about their structure? This is the structure. This is the smallest nematode parasite. And the other worms are usually inhabited in the small intestine where the other female is usually directly released larva, not egg. This is the 
Stapsara, Demia, Solium. Let's see. This is the male nematoparasite and this is the female. Male is about 1.4 to 1.6 millimeter long, whereas the female parasite is double the length of that male parasite. And the anterior end is slightly flatter than the posterior end. And in case of the male, there is a copulatory bursa are present at the anterior end of the body. Whereas in case of the female, it is double larger in diameter as well as length from that of the male parasite. And this female is usually provided with esophagus and the vulva are present near the esophagus with a single uterus. And whole body is usually provided with, this is the mouth, esophagus, and this is the vulva, and the, these are the, these structures are the juveniles. Juveniles are present inside the body of the female nematoparasite, and the, these are the developing eggs. So, this nematode is usually, this nematoparasite is usually viviparous, that is, they release directly their juveniles. So these are the structure of this trichinella spinalis. Then what about their life cycle? Let's see about their life cycle. Is these parasites are usually present in the small intestine of certain mammals. These are the life cycle. Life cycle of Trichinella spiralis. Then, life cycle will be started from the pig. For example, this is the pig. And the, the larva are inhabited in the small intestine of this is the female one and this is the male one. The adult one. The adult of trichinella spiralis in small intestine of small intestine of pig. So the other worm are inhibited in the small intestine of pig. Then the fertilized female worm releases large number of larvae and these larvae penetrate the wall of the small intestine and they migrate in different parts of the body where striated muscles are present. And those larvae are encapsulated in the striated muscles. These are the striated muscles and the larvae are encapsulated just like that. These larvae are encapsulated in the muscles which is known as the encysted larvae. Encysted larvae present in the present in the for me, this assisted larva containing this infective stage larva in case of the poor meat is ingested by human being when it is ingested by man. When this undercooked meat or not properly cooked meat of the poor is usually eaten by human being. Then this infective stage larva enter inside the body through the stomach and it reaches to the intestine. This larva is usually reaches to 
intestine. Then, in the human intestine, develop into male and female. Adult worm are usually developed in the small intestine of human. These are developed in the small intestine of adult in the small intestine of human of human then after this after the fertilization this female worm is usually release large number of the larva and those larva then migrate in different parts of the body when penetrating through the intestinal wall then to the blood then to the different area where striated muscles are present and the larva is usually again encapsulated or encysted in the muscles this infective larva is usually encysted in the muscles in the muscles of different body organs so for this parasite it is different from other parasitic life cycle for example in case of the liver plug help bloody helminthid uh, parasite and the, in case of the ascaris lumbricoids they are they are, are usually passes along with the faces of their definitive host but in this case in this case the infective stage larva are encysted in the muscles so the transmission of the disease is through eating of that mislead walk or the infected muscles of the pig or the infected muscles of the horse, infected muscles of the beard, etc. This, this is through the eating of that, not properly or undercooked meat. So, after reaching to intestine, the other female usually release large number of the larva and after releasing 1500 larva within 5 days, this female worm usually dies and the day passes out along with the passes of that infected person, of that infected man. And the larva are encapsulated in the form of the seeds in different parts of the body. So, this worm is very difficult in comparison with other worm because they present as a cis form in different parts of our body. So, for prevention of this disease is the when we eat not properly cooked meat which contain this infective stage larva, then infection will be occur definitely. So, prevention is when we want to eat meat, then cook it properly. Okay, this is about the life cycle of Trichinella spiralis and the duration of life cycle of this parasite is very short. That is the duration is duration duration after ingestion of infective stage larva. Infective stage larva is 1 days to 15 days. Their duration is very short because the infection is through the eating of the muscles which contain second stage larva. So their life cycle is very short because their life cycle is started with the infective stage second stage larva. So their life cycle inside our body is 1 to 15 days. Within these days, there are different symptoms are usually occur. So this is about the life cycle. That next is the pathogenicity. That means disease caused by this parasite. 
the disease caused by this parasite is known as the trichinellosis or trichinosis. That means pathogenicity. Pathogenicity means the disease caused by this nematode parasite, which is known as the trichinosis or trichinelliasis. Trichinelliasis. Trichinosis or trichinelliasis is same. Then, what are the symptoms? There are different symptoms because this larva migrate from one place to another place inside our body and also the other one which are inhabited in our small intestine is also give some symptoms. So, Number one, the first symptom, the first symptom can may appear, the first symptom may appear, may appear between 12 hours and 2 days. After injection of the after injection of infective stage larva. So in symptom number one is important because the first symptom, the first symptom is appear between twelve hours and two days after ingestion of the second stage infective larva which are usually present in the type of the meat that is undercooked or not properly cooked meat. Then the next point due to the when the second stage larva is usually ingested through mouth then it reaches the stomach, then it reaches to the intestine, where they develop into adult male and the female worm. Then in that case, that worm can also cause inflammation in our intestine. So the resulting inflammation can cause symptom. The resulting Inflammation can cause can cause symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. So, this symptom is usually due to the presence of the other worm in the intestine, the small intestine, due to the presence of the this nematode parasite in the intestine in large number, there will be inflammation can cause and the, due to the inflammation in our intestine, there will be nausea, vomiting and the diarrhea. Then the next symptom is the number three. After, after ingestion of that second stage larva, after development of the adult stage of the worm, that is after 5 to 7 days. 5 to 7 days after symptom. That means due to the inflammation of the intestine, there will be nausea, vomiting, etc. After this symptom, after 5 and 7 days after symptom, there will be facial edema and the fever can occur. Facial edema and fever 
can occur if untreated. Listen carefully. If untreated, after five and seven days of such type of the symptom that is nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, then after five and seven days, there will be fever and facial edema will occur. Then symptom number four. Then symptom number four. After this, if medication is not given, then after ten days. After 10 days, in the intense muscular pain, intense, intense muscular pain, intense muscular pain, difficulty in breathing, difficulty in breathing, Difficulty in breathing, then weakening of pulse and the blood pressure, weakening of pulse and blood pressure, pulse and blood pressure, heart damage. Or damage and various nervous disorder may occur. Various nervous disorder may occur. Eventually leading to death due to heart failure. Eventually leading to death due to heart failure. These are the different symptoms of trichinellosis or Trichinesis, which is usually formed by this nematode parasite. These are the about their disease that is pathogenicity. Then next is the prevention and the treatment. That means diagnosis and the treatment. Diagnosis and Treatment Number one, the muscle biopsy may be under trichinosis detection. Muscle biopsy may be under trichinosis. And the trichinosis detection, that means with the muscle biopsy, this disease can be detected. That means diagnosis of the diseases. Cordon. Number two, the patient will be treated with mebendazole and the albendazole. Mebendazole and Albendazole. Albendazole. This is the medicine prescribed by the doctor. And the symptom can be relieved by using of analgesic and the corticosteroid. Analgesic and Portico steroid. These are the treatment of this disease. Some common treatment. And the next is the preventive measure.
20 Misa which is most important number one the avoid undercooked meat avoid undercooked undercooked meat that means meat will properly cook with high flame with high duration Avoid undercooked poultry. Avoid undercooked poultry. Then, have wild animal meat frozen and eradicated. Have wild animal meat. Animal meat frozen, frozen and eradicated, eradicated. Then my marker is having no ink. Then clean meat grinder thoroughly. Clean. Meat grinder thoroughly. Then number five. Know that other processing method don't kill parasites. Know that other processing method other Processing method not kill parasite that is smoking and the pickling etc. These are the some preventive measures. Sorry, there is no ink in my marker pen. Sorry. So today we discuss about the structure, life cycle. Then the disease caused by this trichinellus spiralis, which is known as the trichinosis. They are diag diag diagnostic and the treatment and the preventive measure. So these are the, all about the life cycle and other information about the this important nematode parasite that is trichinella spiralis. That's all for today's class.